Uh, to the left, to the left, Jake. To the left. Yeah, he wants to go in between the connectors, right on top of the gladiuses. Yeah, okay. that's kind of a good spot. I'm worried saying good arm work again. Yeah, I think bombs away in there somewhere. Uh, that's a perfect spot. What do we think? One will do? Mm, I don't know. We just put another one on there. Have you? <laughs> this is if there's any uncertainty. Let's put one more. Because this one's not going anywhere. Yeah, the dump truck scene would be pretty bad. If it They're slowly bleeding out too. Like, yeah. Come back next year and it'll be gone. <laughs> Are we taking the old, recovering the old one? We're putting it in the tool basket, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I That's might be moving uh, bean bags again. <laughs> Maybe right on top of the other one, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good spot. You have to nudge up under the. I think if we come in from the left, nudge under the float there. Do I have a time to recover? Um, at three o'clock in the morning, we want to start moving over to RC South. So that's kind of our move from here time. But did you guys end up deciding on the camera? Is it staying down? Staying down. So just saved ourselves a couple hours right there. You're welcome. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no push course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's for Steve. Oh, I think okay. that's as good as I'm gonna you do with him. Push it down a little, maybe. Yeah, that'll stay. If you can get out of it. That, I think that's probably good. You're a lot more centered. And this last one is kind of timed or released already. So, uh, I think if you're ready, go for the pin. Roger the pin. Go for the pin. It's not at too violent of an angle, so as it floats up, it's, you know, I'm not going to... I was concerned they come rocketing up and get it off the ground. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rack out. Roger. Uh, ready when you are. Ready. Go in with your jaws halfway shut, Jake. Yep. It's a legit technique. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go wait it. Oh. Uh, it's ready for a slow release. You can throw that one on the porch as well. Rack it back. Oh. Or there. <laughs> Freeze again. Uh, same game, but grab the bungee close to the buoy. Sorry, the float. <laughs> oh, you're, you're ruined now. Totally ruined. Buoy something you put on a crab trap. Now, in theory, this thing shouldn't float. <laughs> <laughs> We've been surprised before. <laughs> well, 
Just because the old one is in that spot doesn't mean there's we can't put this one here or in another spot, right? So we're not. Yeah, we can slide it around now, but I'm yeah. gonna get off it now. Yeah. Where are we calling Mongo these days? Magnum. It Magnum. Is like Magnum. 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 No more Sorry. Magnet. So this thing theoretically does have a bridle. This orange little thing, if we wanted to reposition it or whatever we need to do. Next step is to change over the connection. So dust caps. So I think I would like to grab it by the handle that's closest to your jaws and lift up and rotate to the right a little and see what happens. Yeah. And the vehicle's semi-floating, so take that Here? into consideration. Yeah. Oh, Ricky, can you confirm that this string has been turned off? Maris? Yeah. The port has been turned off, was confirmed before the dive. Okay, thank you. The JB or J5. Yes, okay. J5 or J5. You're going to... No, you lift up a little, but lift out. Yeah. Now uh, tweak your yaw, roll your wrist right a little, because it wants to tip over again. We want to try and get it parallel with the other one. Other way, towards the vehicle. Oh. Should slide in under the porch there. Oh, <laughs> Moving the vehicle. Okay, let go of it. Just uh, you can hold you can that. make connections from this angle. That'll be interesting. No. I love it when they. Oh, wrong button. I'm just going to reposition the vehicle so it's a little more stable and we'll try and uh, slide it around a little. I don't think it's stable enough to make connections. I need to be able to get on it yeah. with a magnum somewhere. No, nope, fair enough. And we could, but it would probably be pretty ugly. Let me add it. What's the plan for... Uh, yeah, never mind. I'm trying to envision trying to get to those. You float, Herc. Bead bags. Beads. More. <laughs> glass, glass beads. Should we take the bean bag back? Glass beans. No, I think we're all right. Uh, Can you zoom in there, Ed? I'm zooming that side over there. Oh, that's there? good. Yeah. See that rope where it's tied in between the green cable there? Yeah. Let's try grabbing that. Uh, the part with the tape on it? or the? No. All right. We want to grab just this corner. Just part of the 
So see where the rope's tied to the grate between yep. the green cable and it goes up and it's touching the, uh, mm -hmm. the parking position? Grab it somewhere in between there. The vehicle's still obviously balanced on a marble here. Okay, Ed, go wait. Coming out. Wide enough? Yeah, wide enough. This one right here. Yeah, right here. I want to try and pick it up there and bring it towards the vehicle and slide it, slide it around. <coughs> it's balanced on a rock in the back, so hopefully there's more room under the porch here. But up and down nice and slow, because you're probably going to pull the vehicle down when you do that. Yeah, this platform assembled, fully assembled like that in water is a hundred and... Come up a little bit, more. Still partial zoom. Damn rock. There you go. Now towards the vehicle somewhere. Yeah, it should yeah. be 124 pounds in water, this yeah. platform. Okay, come down there. And then towards the vehicle a little more. Okay. No, um, it's not sliding around, is it? Does the uh, seismometer have to be... Move? This is probably funny, but does it have to be level, or can it be like wherever, like in that position? Um, that's a Jeb question. Well, the seismometer will pull off. So this one here oh. has two pull pins that we have to remove, and we have to cut the zip tie here by pulling that. And right. that gives us a bit of a tether to place it on a rock. Right. But Jeb, the frame itself, does it have to sit flat? No, there's no preferred orientation for the frame. Okay. So we can pull the seismometer off of there. It would make the frame substantially lighter as well. If you try uh, dragging it towards the rock a little to the right, does it? I'm trying to get it to sit down in somewhere stable. It's caught on that back corner. Yeah. That's all we want. Maybe towards the rock a little more. Yeah. Oh, that's See it. It's starting to fall down. Yeah. Got a rock underneath it. No, oh, it's teeter tottering, <laughs> but we're we're oh closer. Yeah. It's teeter tottering. Okay, if you let go there, I'll reposition the. Uh, if you touch the handle, does it? Still teeter tottering, and it find a home there. Maybe and scoot the handle back towards the vehicle. It's the only thing to consider might be that to release the sensor, you do have to pull down a little bit on the two bungees that are holding it in. If you put your uh, jaws like this in the handle and try and scooch it towards the porch, yeah. You can do a closed jaw, just stick them in, or that, yeah, either way. You might grab it there, and there's the porches, you know, quite a bit above it, I yeah. think. What Jeb was just pointing out is for to release this white instrument at the back, there are these bungees just kind of off down here. It okay. might be worth getting a view of them just to make sure if this is in this position that it that we can still get to those. All right. If you come out of there, I'll move the vehicle and see if we can get a less bouncy Mark, spot. Okay. Full wide. Can you see those images? That image, yeah. Oh, I'll have a look. But Sure, they could have picked a more hostile position. Mm. 
All right. What same page? Oh yeah, that original rock cap. Yeah. I mean, this rock here looks pretty flat too, actually, just behind. It looks like a reasonable spot, yeah. You're looking at the one just behind here, Jeb? Can you mark it for me, Dirk, on the screen? Like somewhere over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cloudy. We'll take another look. How? I think so. I think that's what they're positioning in for now. I think it'll be okay. So these sensors, you also want them horizontal, I'm assuming, right? And not tilted, Jeb? As much as possible, horizontal, facing north. Yeah. I see a bunch of good rocks for that. <laughs> no. Yeah, a few flat spots. Martin will chime in from shore, too. Kind of this, I like the spot where the ROV was sitting. It could be good. Right, just a few inches away from where the sensor is now, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough to see how flat it is, but it looks like a good spot. Might even have enough room to spin it and point it in the direction we want to. You're talking about the seismometer itself? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting way. We're just looking looking at rocks. Can you hit one on bubble for me? What's your butt cam? See that spot there, um, Jeb? The one I'm talking, the one right that Thanks, one. Ernie. That looks yeah, good. no worries. This yeah, this area just looks Can't different from whatever angle you're looking at it now. <laughs> you start turning around, you're like, whoa, it's pretty steep. Looks like so fine rock. about that big black thing sticking out the back of her. <laughs> <laughs> should be on top. <laughs> yeah, it should. That's got its own risk, uh, pros and cons. Yeah. Nice jetty fish. Yeah, there's a couple placement notes coming in from shore with a preference for the original uh, location. Okay. Or, um, of course, stability is the primary concern, resting on three feet if possible, but, you know, they had a challenge finding that spot last time. Yeah. Bead bags on top. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this, Jeb, that spot, that looks pretty flat to bridge that little gap. If we can't reach the other rock. Yeah, if the cable won't stretch to where it was. Okay, so um, this connector here, I'm pretty sure it says JB. And that goes into JB, so that goes into that one. Huh. And then that one goes into this one. Okay. So they're kind of switched. I want to get a quick zoom on those just to confirm they say what we think they say. Yeah. Good luck reading my writing. Well, it says GB there, and then the other GB is right there. I made the match, but I guess because they're opposite each other now, on the sides have swapped. <laughs> <laughs> no force. As I fumble through uh, some explanation. Um, pick it up there, Jake. See if we can find a hole for it. Kind of. 
wanted to sit when I first set it down. So that blue cable turns into an orange somewhere under the green platform? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, Pick it up yeah. where? The orange turns into blue, yeah. Left side. On the top right of the parking position. Uh -huh. pick it up like from a crane grab as we call it just these are taped right to that parking position so oh. they're right there they're zip tied straight to it maybe down here no i pick it up at the top all right. all right i'll be careful gotta be on the front yeah yeah right there I don't know if you can pick it up a little and twist your wrist the other way. Yeah. Oh, my flat rock just fell apart. Twist your wrist to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you'll have to pick it up and drag it a bit more. side closer to us. Hmm, perfect. Yep. <laughs> Good home position. That looks stable. Stable, Mabel. Yeah. And I can reach out and grab a hold of it. I like that. I don't know if you need to. It's pinned up against rocks here. Uh, we, we need to. It'll skate all over in tarnation. So, Jeb, does this, the white instrument, the seismometer on this new frame, why doesn't it have a blue cable coming out the other end? There's no cable. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, but I mean, the original one had blue cables coming out both sides. Right. This so one looks like, I don't see a cable here. Right. It's just got the one on the one side. Yeah. It's because the original one is part of a three-element string, but it underwater made a bowl. Um, can be removed along with the interface scan. So we're going to pick up the first sensor. And the new configuration I have, the spare sensor we had was not a double ender one. So instead of plugging into the end of the sensor, we're going into another port on the interface okay, scan. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. We uh, kind of hijacked a BPR port for spare. found when I was fast forwarding through a bunch of footage that if you fast forward through it, the magnum is still moving in slow-mo. <laughs> Slow-mo's good. Yeah. Happy with slow-mo. Hey, Jeb, do you have access to the dive plan? I do. Can you read this connection part? Is it, It's missing a piece about connecting the second cable, right? Okay, I'll take a look. Remove connector from JB side, transfer to new platform. Renew, remove connector from downstream side and transfer to new platform. Oh, it is on there, okay. Yeah, it's a different name, uh, convention. Remove connector, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yep. right. It's looking for the word string. Yeah, I know. So was I. I don't know if 
if I can get there from here. You say, oh, wait, what? Can you show me the end of that manip with the bubble cam? I don't think I'm quite got to grab there. I might need a little assistance. cables from there, but do that when we get there. <coughs> you guys all right for us to pull the dust caps? Yep, go for it. You're going to want the dust caps back on the old one? Uh, not a high priority. Right. Uh, yeah, because, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to work, so. <coughs> this is a pretty awkward spot to try and do dust caps. And That draw seems a lot faster, Dan. Is that just a user preference on it, or is no? It we we tweaked it to okay. get it to work right. It's a fine balance between four to nine volts. And We can put these on the porch and drop them, or we can stow them for good in the bio box. Uh, I stow them. Roger. Sam Trey, come on out. Uh, what preset is it? Two? Oh, two is gauges. Three. Look at you guys with the browser-based bubble control now. <laughs> Is that new? Mm, no. Oh. Well. Never, never seen that before. Um, we had it before, but some of our... Argus pilots didn't like it. Mm. So they didn't have a joystick to... Oh, yeah. But we have this. Yeah. Run, it runs away. Thing's it's got three controllers now. <laughs> not, not ideal. Yeah, you can. Anyone on the boat anywhere can control it. It has its issues, but the presets are. Uh, yeah, the preset. Yeah. The presets work. Nice. The browser-based controller moves it like you know, 30, 40 degrees or some crazy mm. thing like that. And the joystick runs away if you hold it too long. Mm. I think but I've witnessed that. Yeah, it's uh, 90s tech being controlled with. Uh, it's a proprietary Panasonic driver for that camera. We were pleased just to find some software that would even talk to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that software is new ish. It's post. post uh, it's been around for a while waiting for the old controller, the last yeah. of the old controllers to give it up, which it finally did. Yeah. Uh, what, do you have two of those? Oh, there's half a dozen of them. Oh. A couple of eBay ones. and <laughs> <laughs> We've made parts out of old ones. and Yeah. It's amazing the camera still works. The controller gave up first. That was surprising. Ren came in and spotted it sitting in the shop. He's like, oh, I love your vintage electronics. <laughs> <laughs> That's front, front Boy, line. do we have some more <laughs> for you. <laughs> front, front line equipment there, boy. Yeah. Now, if you could only reach a connector, I don't think you can get there from here. Probably not the far one. I might have to move the magnum out of the way, get one, then get back on it. Yeah. 
I'm sinking. How far are you away from that far one? Video's gone off comms for a second. Raj. Light years away in the neighborhood. Light years away. Yeah. Okay. Video's back on comms. Well, if you stow your weapon there, I'll do something to help you out. Stowing. Kind of cool, huh, Fabio? Yeah, nice shot from there. That's good there, Jake. Oh, the monitor is behaving very really well today. Mm -hmm. You have their 100. Go up into the salute. One. Slowest, slowest moving backhoe ever. Slow is good. Otherwise, there'd be a giant hole in that blue thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could reach it. Oh, we can reach it. Pretty nice. Reach that plug now. Yeah, but I think we want to get the far one first because the far one goes. Let's see, the far one goes on J B. What did we say there? I lost the plot. No, the far <laughs> one goes on the far one, and if the close one goes on the close one. Yeah. So now that we've turned it, the um, J B one goes on the J B. So I think that this guy here needs to go here. Roger, so we'll do the far one first, because this one we can probably get, so I'll reposition the vehicle to, uh, we're going to have to unplug, then probably slide the vehicle a little to, so Jake can get it in there. float in your face. Ah, totally do, you, do you need to actually see the connector to unplug it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you can see it using still cam. Oh yeah, well, one, of, one of the three cameras we have can see it. <laughs> Let me see if I can. It might be enough. It oh, really yeah, tests okay. your ability. You can see it in the top of Our bubble, one? at least. Yeah, you can see it and still can. But I see your concern. If you can get the grab and... You can do it, Jake. We believe in you. You can see just barely in the bubble camera. And you got it, Goose. There's a bit of latency there, so... platform coming up? Yeah. Still I'm a gonna wiggle, wiggle. I'm going to probably have to pin it. I can try to jerk, but I think it's going to move the platform so you can see the connector. Yeah. Okay. Hold that. I'm going to have to pin it. Of course. Um, you can drag it a little so we can just barely see the connector in the Camera, it might come off there. It's uh, on that yeah, you're jib on, on that instrument. It's oh, sitting on its own frame. Yeah, it's coming out. It's not sitting on its connector. Oh, 
No, I don't think so. I'll have to pin it. <laughs> Get out of the way. Just pl plow through them. Okay, they're pretty well indestructible. Oh, unfortunately, there's a blue cable sitting right on the grabber. Of course there is. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll come I'll come down there in in a minute. Logic. I found that a small amount of wrist rotate sometimes will break the seal. It allows them to pull out. Okay. Just a tiny bit. Can you imagine plugging in these connectors using nothing but the magnum. Oops, wrong button. Pinned. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to uh hold on, hold on. Okay. You can even see it now, huh? Whoa. That might be a little easier. Is that a dog going for its prey? Sniff it first. Yeah. Touch it with your nose. A little more of a bite there. There you go. Um, 
I think you got a couple of it left with it. Yeah, let go of oh, it, it there. A bit. Let go of it and get a better grab. We can do a zoom there if you want. Yeah. Go ahead, Ed. And I can also put it over there in front of you. That's it. Oh, that's a good grab. Jaw lock. Jaw lock. Well, can you try pulling a little towards the left? Okay. Hold on a second. I just think it's slightly misaligned. Go wide in. Oh, I just want to there it goes. see what the magnum's doing. Nice. Good work. <coughs> okay, if you lift it up a bit and hold what you got. Maybe a little higher. Okay, that's good. The second one. Yep. Maris. This is Melbourne. Main interface. It was here, yeah. That one. It's a long cable, right? Yeah. Blue cable. Blue, hang on. Should be a PVOF. It was made here, there. That was just disconnected. No, it's a three meter PVOF, whichever. Maybe this one? Oh, blue cable, so I think it was right here. See this diamond? What's a diamond mean? But I think it's at the diamond. Can you temporarily um, bring the arm up and rotate the orange cable so it's pointing up in a way? Or just bring it up and to the right, something. Uh, maybe up a little more. Uh, we'll try. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Happy? Happy. Reposition. Um, what happens if you rotate clockwise? Uh, you can hold it up high and rotate clockwise somewhat. That's good. Just keep in mind the sensor needs to come up and out of there still. Roger. Just want to have the cable off it while I'm chalking the vehicle around here. Feel like I'm still a little close. The blue cable might be snagged on that rock back there. Yeah, it looks like it is. But okay, I think you're right up against. Yeah, I am. <coughs> mm, all right. If you 
can bring the cable down around in front now, maybe. Rotate counterclock again. Beautiful. Am I too close there? something here. I'm going to bring the cable back around. Uh, no, it's a good spot for it there. It's safe on the porch. Yes. How about if I turn my head to the right and you can bring the arm in front, maybe? See, but no. I think it's doable. You have to come up above it to get lined up so you can see. It would be easier to see from am I rack back? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, there oh. you go. It's gonna go. I can rack back somewhere. I don't know if that'll help. Yeah, it might give him a better view. Mm. Bubbles, your friend now. Sorry for the inconvenient position. But <laughs> stay when you make the stab, so I don't know if I gotta grab on again or not. Rotate left a little, I think. And down. You can see it in HD now as well. Nice. Almost a lock. That's a lock. in a while. I should probably pause and do it. There was some on the camera. Yeah. You can see the oil on the camera. Trying to slide to the left a little. To Better. bit of a hole before it was
think. Sure. I'm going to have to pin that thing again. Probably. Might as well pin it, eh? Oh, yeah. Probably. I mean, you can try it, but... So no. <laughs> no beans. No beans. No beans for you. Kind of miss the beep sounds it used to make at the calculator. <laughs> that thing was dangerous. It would run away. Yeah, it was like you could do two things and it it's like stop, stop. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> I think not enough of the buttons have the had the skull and crossbone on it. I think they should all sit there. <laughs> switches. Okay. Nice. It's coming. And I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh. I can reposition again. What do you think? Uh. So as far right as I go, damn. Oh my gosh. No. I'm watching the magnum over there. Roger. Okay, hold that, I'll come off it. I gotta get off it anyway, so I might as well slide it around a little. If you start doing that and we slide around with that, it's gonna be ugly. Hmm. I'll wind up with the magnum stuffed down into that blue cable there.
feel it hitting something behind me. Tether's okay. Uh, too close? <laughs> I don't know. Probably. I don't like the way the cable's pinned there. Perched on is perched in the back. It's bobbing there. I've been in that hole before. Uh, it's that one. So we're going to come this way. Loading landing, but You want some zoomage? Yes, zoom would be nice. Zoom up to the. Uh, That's good. There, there you go. Hmm. It's a teeter totter plug in, Jake. <laughs> oh. uh, it's got to be a stable point somewhere yeah. along the teeter. Maybe. I think <laughs> maybe we get a hold of it. Yeah. You want to hold that? Call it out. It's got your initials on it, Jake. JB? Yeah. I don't know if I can reach it from there. I bet you cannot. Uh, all right. Well, it can't go that far, right? Go ahead and zoom in again. In. Zoom Coming in. Coming in. Should be up against Hold that rock there. in the back. It's in bubble, too, if you need it. Vehicles moving around too, yep. so slowly as you go, I'll find a home somewhere. Uh -huh. Seems like found a home, yeah. 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 There you oh, go. Oh, good work. Wow. Is that it? Coming out. Did it go? Yeah, clicked. It looked like it clicked, yeah. Go away. Full full. Okay, if you get it. Oh, you're going to give it the love tap? Why not? Yeah, that's... It's got my initials on it. Funnest <laughs> part of the, of the <laughs> job. SOP has to do that. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Good love touch. Okay, yeah. Give us a quick zoom there. Yeah, just, just see if we see any green. Stand by. Now that's in. In like Flynn. Okay. Wow, Did you want to see the other one? Yeah, that's, I, I haven't seen, had a look at that one yet. You uh, pull the predator but, out of there. Um, well, Ricky, you can give a quick guess, zoom on that one too. You shouldn't please. jump the gun here, but I think this one's fine too. That looks good. Yeah, I'd say they're in. Yep. Dave, do you want us to request power? You ready yes, to get out? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. The only thing to keep in mind, Dirk, is we can't handle it while it's on. So I guess John will do his preliminary check, and then we'll turn it off before we place it. Yeah, let's let's see if it's working before we go through that rigmarole. Yeah. 
So we wait? We can wait. Um, we can start devising a plan for this other, <laughs> this, yeah. this yard sale on the left. <laughs> well, that was the yard barn. <laughs> the next step is going to be to remove the instrument, is that right? Yes. Okay. You can take a break, Jake. I'm going to fly around and look at the other side. Right. Yeah, I'll have a look at those. I see, the, I see the loops, but I don't really know what they do. I right. kind of forgot. I'll send Danny up. That's it. Yeah, he's been inching to get in here. He's <laughs> <laughs> killing him. I know he's doing like movements over. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, is there something on the lens? Of this oh, watch the butt cam there. You're, you're scraping. Yeah, I gotta come up again. Sorry. Uh, you're under. You're hooked I under. See it. Yeah. I okay, see Roger. It. I see it. I forgot about it. Sorry. Right. I think I would notice it right there. There we go. I think. We need a new one of those things, anyways. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we now have an excuse. <laughs> I think it's free, free. I don't know if it is or not. Um, just a reminder, we would like a position confirmation of in position for this new interface and an orientation, please. Roger. Okay. It's right there. Is there any way we can... <laughs> <laughs> What did you Thank you. Wouldn't what have spotted it the other day, right you. there. <laughs> what, do you need a position? Is that what yes, please. Okay. Ideally, with lat and long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cheeky joke. Sorry. Um, it's not, it's going to be it's the same one. same as the last. Um, so I have that pulled up. That's where we uh, have the pin for this old one when we. Just gonna come up, make sure that tether's clear. Yeah, right. Thank Just you, got it. Sure. Is that what is that light? Is that a camera? What is that? Or is that Argus? Where is this? It's in our cam, in our butt and starboard cam. That can't be Argus, is it? Argus is no. in. There is a the there is a camera light on at okay. Crado. Yeah, that could be it. Which is essentially behind us. Yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure I'm not losing my mind. That's it's the moon, Remy. Yeah, it's the moon. <laughs> Underwater moon. Derek, a couple more thoughts about placing the sensor. Um, yeah. We got Martin sent us a nice screenshot here of where it was relative to the old platform. Okay. Um, so we might want to eyeball that before we move the old platform, trying to identify the location where the other one was. Oh, it's, the other one is, uh, you can see the rusted marks on the rock. Okay. It, it was... Um, <laughs> It's like a Harley Davidson. It marks. Yeah, its it was spot. like this one. It's kind of. It's in a quite severe angle, actually, where it was. Yeah. I thought you were liking that rock right there. I really like that rock. I like well, that rock. But it looks uh, a little crumbly. Yeah, what we'll is? see. We'll see what Shore says. I think they liked it too. The original spot had some appeal for continuity. I think. Okay. And uh, it was a, a good spot from the sense that all three feet were actually touching rock, which okay. we might be able to do here as well. Is this a pot or what is this? Looks like a cooking pot. Oh, that's where my cast iron went. Right? But uh, as Martin notes, we might want to clear the old stuff out if we plan on putting the sensor over what? that area. Is it's in a spring, spring form pan for a cheesecake. Oh, as long as it's <laughs> not part of the ROV. Should is we that, pick it up? Maybe it's full of gold. It's that perfect circle we saw earlier. I might have writing on the top, hard to tell. Maybe we should know. Do you want it, Dan? T take note of I meter. don't want it. Whoa. Oh, what's that? What is that? Uh, Pac-Man? Oh, is that, that? We didn't touch the, what that is. Shoot the target. I have yeah. no idea what that is. It like seems like asteroids. Never seen that before. Is it on no? the prompter it's here that it pushes? No, it's that's on Zeus. That's on, on me. Zeus. Yeah. Uh, let me do, can I go to bars real quick? I think it's thinking about something. Yeah. And uh, I have no idea what that is. That's a reboot. That's what that is. Yeah. It's obviously generated by the camera. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, he went to Bolo, so that would technically...
But I mean, bars are from in the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cycle power to it. So it's really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to do uh, the entire dive like that. So that is file. Huh. Twenty-one. That's uh, your born on date is expired. It's and time to cut the PO to the Four thirty-eight forty. So interesting. Like it can't be aluminum because that would have been gone by now. I kind of want to pick it up. Pick it up. We're waiting on the word for something. I think. So you all right with? Yeah, we're waiting up, for a test. Up? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Nice. Bobby, you know, there's a nice snail for you right there. We'll do some uh, gold mining here, uh, yeah. gold pan. Nice and easy, Danny. Easy, easy. This is the guy that just think the Magnum. Camera. Magnum. Magnum speed makes me happy. It does have oh. a handle, doesn't it? It had something. No, that was just a rock. Is there writing on the top? There's a good camping pot. Say like 105 millimeters, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put it in the bio box? Yeah. That's, That's our old yeah, Zeus cover. That Dump that grenade out of the center of Let's the first. Back. <laughs> I don't want it in the bio box. We looked at it, set it up somewhere. It's a sediment trap. That's it. Experiment. <laughs> that would have been an interesting story <laughs> for wow. your house cookware. Well, I believe you have to. I don't know. This, are we allowed to pick stuff up from here? I, I think violating we just leave some it. permit or something. Well, I don't know, but I think we should leave it. <laughs> I think at the How about you put it down in the hole so I don't land on it? We should take stuff out. Okay. We're in a marine protected area if we see later. I don't know if... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The reason I'm reluctant to put it in the box because we got a bunch of other jewelry in there we got to get out. Yeah. It's going to get all dirty, eh? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm just saying. I'll just set it over here in the hole? No, I'll put it right here in front. If we found the a Coke hole. bottle or a Coke can... Would you take it up back home? Depends if I had a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has loads of That's pockets. Yeah. Well, they're all full. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, can we get a zoom on these guys and then see yeah. how that mechanism works? Go ahead. Ed. Coming in. Holding there. So you got the pull pin, releases a zip tie. That allows you to just pick it up. All right. Okay. Huh? Do you get it? I don't get it. I think <laughs> it's. I, I think it. it breaks the zip tie. It, oh, yeah, oh it, no, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I there see the zip go. tie. It's bungee. Yep, the bungee. It's bungee? Where's the bungee? You the can black. See, you can see the yeah. knot. Oh, that little yeah. black? Oh, gee, okay. Yeah. Not a zip tie. Gotcha. But and then those flip up, and then we just grab the PVC? Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, we got cables to bust loose too. There's a pull pin up there on the left. Is yeah. This yeah. one, this one here, that releases that bundle, All and right. that's it. So Coming that's out. step one. Step one well, is we figure out what we're gonna do with it when we once do we pick it up. Yeah, right, man, crevice. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good crevice. It is a good crevice. Is so it facing north now? The other rock is this rock here, I believe, right there. Yeah, you want to go look at that one, do you? I think so, because I think it's got quite a, quite an angle. This one's kind of a flat rock. I'm not sure what. What's our heading? What's our heading right now? Two two something. Two two five. Two thirty. Two two five. All right, so we're not quite. We're almost pointing south, though. We're not far off. Oh, these have to be north facing, eh? Ideally, but I don't think it was before. You can kind of see the rust on here, where. Uh, it's really easy to tell on my screen, but it's kind of out of your screen. Uh, Is it just to the right of that platform? Yeah. Ooh, that crevice. Yeah. That crevice yeah, right there. Just sitting on that rock right here. I don't think that was north facing at all. No. It might not have been. I think the perfect situation is north facing, but I don't know if it's always possible. I think you just ran into the wall again. I had gently bumped the wall, yeah. Yeah. As well as everywhere. Stability will be number one. I think the uh, north facing issue is if it's more than so many degrees out, they have to rename the channels from northeast to uh, AB or well, something like that. I'm facing south there, so it seems like, yeah, I don't know. If you want it over there, I think we need to move that. Oh, that crevice would be sweet. Uh, 
move the old one out of the way. We could just pick it up and. We can. Uh, can we look at see this instrument on the old one? It's kind of very precarious. It's kind of more sitting on the um, rocks. Actually, it's bridging the gap. Is there anything we can do so that it just doesn't fall off as soon as this? As soon as we pick it up. Yeah, we can grab it with one minute and grab the platform with the other. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's got the studs to, that are on that steel plate. They're in the uh, grating. Yeah, but they we placed it there on our last dive, right? So it's definitely loose. It's kind of leaning up. The frame's leaning up against this. It's not actually the connector leaning up to it. Or it wasn't earlier anyways. Okay. But I think if we can grab it, that's the perfect situation. So you want to move it now or... Well, do we think... I'd rather only grab it once, so... Yeah, no. My drillers. Do you think that little blue cable will reach the old spot, is the other question. Uh, that I... Yeah, yeah I don't a, know. That's hard to say. Doesn't look like it. I see... I count two wraps. I yeah. think it might be a bit of a mess to try and put it in the old spot and then move that. So yeah, I wonder if we're around. better off trying this. Is um, Jeb... Yeah. Uh, is Martin against this rock right next to it? I'm just checking in with him right now. Yeah. I mean, he, he can be, and we can try and figure it out because we want the best case, but as it is right now, we'd have, probably have to move the platform to get it to the other spot. So right. Understood. That's south facing there. Yeah, I think we can make this rock work if, if he's happy with, I guess, the integrity. Right. Yeah, right. it's certainly not as fresh as the other one, but if that doesn't matter, then it says we can yeah. try the near rock. Oh. It has to have good contact. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's well, a tripod thing. Yeah, if he's willing to go for the new rock, let's do that, and then we can kind of get a sense when the feet go in what we're dealing with. Yeah. Um, well, Ricky, have you heard anything from shore yet? Yeah, the device is powered on, and John D confirmed that all four IP addresses have network connection. So I think Sweet. we can go ahead with placing the sensor. Is that your 50-50 that worked out, Jeb? <laughs> no, this one was higher. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll, sh we'll ask Shore to shut down that port before we start handling the sensor. Okay, if you can just ask him to shut it down and then confirm that it went and shut down. Hey, Dan. Do you mind nope. asking him just maybe to turn it back off? Maybe like double checking or something on the John camera D's lens, and now I got a bubble in the middle of on the right hand side at three o'clock. Yeah. Just a heads so up. Of them. Yeah, so we have to check turn it off the, uh, before we can touch it. So you if he can turn it off, we'll yeah, move this seismometer into position, and then he can turn it back on. But he needs to let us know that it's turned right off. Right one down. We even have a so just lock. turn off the whole port again. I do have a dive lock, and I was keeping track. Gauges are good. The reason being the sensor has like an auto leveling feature that will continuously try to fight the motion of the uh, ROV and wear itself down. So we'll, we'll just hang out for a little bit while we figure this out. Did we decide the old frame was smaller than the new frame? I mean, it's not too important, but... I think the, f the footprint seemed a little larger to me. It just seems like it'll be a lot easier to shove in the tool basket if it's so smaller. Yeah. Oh, power is off to the sensors. Right. Now. Okay, so that may mean the, the system is still live, but the sensor is not powered. So that's fine for handling. All right. We can uh, release it from its from its button, or we can release the cable and release the sensor. Roger. I'm trying to find a hole here.
be able to reach from there. So, Jeb, does that mean that they were able to communicate with the Marises downstream as well? Uh, that takes a few minutes for okay. it to fire up, hmm. so I think, I, I mean, it is what it is. If the IP addresses are all there, then that's the most we can do, and we'll see in the coming hours how much of the system comes online. At compact least cars only. <laughs> at least that? compact yeah. cars only. Yeah. <laughs> the first sensor should fire up is my hope, and at least we have something here. Yeah. Again, this is kind of a troubleshooting thing to see whether the other two are still viable. Okay, Danny, see if you can reach over. And we saw from the other side what you need to do there to get the bungees off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you want to do the uh, cable first? No, I think we'll do the cable after so it doesn't spring up in our face. It's kind of nice. In the still camera, you can also see the little PVC rings. Yeah. Can you zoom now, still camera? <laughs> <laughs> I can probably uh, digital. I can take the JPEG and bring it over. <laughs> take the JPEG. No, he has the screen. I can, uh, no, nice I can do this. Nice, nice I got and this. slow. And, um, Yeah, if stuff starts moving, the camera and their platform stop. We can always reposition. Nope. That ain't gonna help me much. I need to undo that ring. Yeah. I can come around to the other side if you don't. It was a. It's going to be a downward pull. So. Yeah. You can you bubble over just a little more? Right there. Should be able to grab the rope. Draw right down by the rock, drag it on the rock away from the instrument. Should come. Looks like it might be hooked on the yeah, well, well. metal. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'll come around the other side. Well, I can see it now, but if you want to move, go ahead. No, I can see it too, just nice and slow. When the back row starts saying, whoa, 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 you're moving too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's pretty much all we can do. <laughs> break, break. They should give us breaks. Cuts throttle to your jo a joystick. To like the, the, uh, remember it. Don't move the craft any faster than the magnum, and you'll be okay. Okay, looks like it's free. You can. Yeah, that one's free. It might be worth your while to actually flip those little um, clamps over too. I'm. They just have. They kind of lock in place. They're pretty, pretty sweet little design, actually. Maybe we uh, get the other one loose first, or yeah, yeah, whichever, whatever you want to do. But when you have the next one in your manip, we do have zoom on bubble, but that's okay. I like the overall view myself too. I like acting like I'm in the 90s. Well, that's where I came from with these, so having a wide angle view is like a luxury. Beautiful job. You still have, yeah, I know you've got the other one still, the little pull pin cable release. It looks like a Jedi saber. A what? More or less. <laughs> Jedi saber. Yeah. Uh, We're up, bro. So, 
Yeah. Oh, the cut washer, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it cut washer? Yep. Okay. Uh, not well, 100% sure if it would float or sink. Sink. Okay. Uh, so just, do the, just do a closed jaw touch of the blue cable from left to right. Okay, that's good. This, um, I feel like this is a good spot that's flat. It's just not going to be pointing north. Yeah, as long as there's some clearance under the steel backing plate to make it obvious to us that it's on the three feet. Oh, or is this, could, can anyone remember, is this a rock that kind of broke? Yeah, there was a there was a piece of that that was a little broken off. I yeah. can I can come around to the other side now, so we can see what. Yeah, we're let's doing. go. Let's go have a look. I, it's, wall. it's very strange around here. You sit in one place and you get a perspective, and then you move, and everything seems like it's a totally different angle. Yeah. Everything seems flat from up above. Yeah. yeah that is a really bright light coming from any uh, moon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full moon. I mean, it feels like we're on the moon, honestly. Yeah. Um, I think I sat here once, but I had something. Up. I wasn't getting a good landing. I'll try it. You're saying we're over the whole north-south thing? Because if you want to do north-south, i got to yeah. come around more. Yeah, no, I think that's ship sailed, yeah. Secondary, right. tertiary. Especially if he wants it flat. So north-south is lower priority. Jeb then, then flat and yeah. horizontal? Yeah. Okay. Stable is probably number one. A nice hard rock is probably number two. I feel like I gotta come around a bit there and it's not gonna work. I think this rock is gonna be solid. Feet are really gonna dig into it. Next to the pot. Yeah, tell the cooks not to throw the pasta pan overboard anymore. Oh, that's a good handle right there. I like that. I don't think it was the cook, I think it was the client. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that meal. I think I can. How heavy is this uh, instrument? Like, give me one second, I can have got that information. It is. Somewhere in here. I think I'm going to try to grab that end, a little piece of steel on the end, and. Uh, it is 30 pounds underwater. Uh, you want to huh. grab it in the middle. So it, the feet, the one with the two feet yeah. is heavier than the one with this. So you yeah. grab it right between the two clamps. Okay. Nice and slow. Yeah, nice just, just know slow. this connector on the end is not, there's no strain relief on it. So. Yeah. Crane mode. Magnum mode. So, yeah, when you grab it, you're grabbing the steel there. Beautiful. And ropes wrapped around this deal. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to set it back down, Danny. Uh, the latches. Uh, the latch rehatched. Yep. Yeah, you'll have to set it yep, on the platform. Okay, um. stop, stop. Go back to the right. Set it down there nice and easy. Watch the connector. Now uh, you see the rope hooked around the... Yep. 
Can I get a zoom video? Coming in. Try and Good. get those two joints in frame if I can. Yep. There's got to be a way to keep that controller from going to sleep. Plug oh, in the Xbox it. One. Watch your connector. Oh, you're on the connector there, Danny. Yeah, there we go. Let's try grabbing the uh, weight or the PVC cord. Yeah, PV. That's what I mean. You heard what I meant. The bungee is underneath it. I think we're about to just break the bungee off of this thing. It's yeah, that right. is fine if you can do that. Palm salt. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> okay. How'd you break that bungee? <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's funny, like a rubber band, you can't get the break underwater. <laughs> I don't have to worry too much about uh, that other one falling around. It's essentially a gladius. Yeah, pop, there we go. So, so Jeb, which, if they were to point northish, which side is the priority? The okay. one with the cable or the other one? Hold that, hold that. The side without cable is the uh, direction. So it should head north if possible. The side without cable. I mean, if possible. We want to rotate it clockwise so the cable's towards the instrument, but you want it counterclockwise so the cable's. Cable towards the frame. Yeah, so yeah. I got to clock, clockwise, rotate yeah. clockwise. Yeah, that seems like the right thing because it's not a strain relief connector, so. Yep. Okay. So we're looking southish right now, is that right? Dan, what's the RV heading? Yeah. ROV heading is uh, almost south. Right, so we would want it pointing towards ourselves if we wanted it pointing north. Yeah, but I think it's that's pretty big. Easy, easy, easy. Oh yeah, it's yep, the third. Get it up out of there. It's the no, third no, priority. Moving too fast, mate. Moving too fast. Yeah. I'm going. A Just getting a reference for myself. I would say right there is where it's going to want to live. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Maybe kind of to your right a little bit, and then rotate left, nice and easy. The back leg needs to be on a on a stable spot. Yeah, maybe, maybe the clear spot a little more to the left. Yeah, back to your left a little. Yeah, uh, kind of out of the rubble. Other, other left. Yeah, I can mark it if you want. Yeah, give me a mark. Where do you Stand want it? Oh, front leg about right there. Here. Yeah, look at that double circles. And a little weight. Yeah, yeah. there ish. Happy with that? Uh, as long as, can you rotate it slightly so this leg sits more in that direction? Because it looks like it's in kind of in a low spot here, yeah. this leg. Yeah, we could try that, see how it sits. Yeah, and we'll take a peek underneath to see. Uh, I, think the, uh, I think the right side wants to go away from the vehicle a little more. The left, the leg on the right closest to us is in air. Yeah, I agree with you. Is it in air? No, okay. but it's kind of precarious. If we can move it just slightly further out, yeah. Pick it up again, Danny. Oh yeah, we're just going to get over here a little more and... Oh. Uh, I 
I see what you're doing. Now it's touching on all three. I think that's pretty good. Um, Jeb, is there a way for us to tell the level based on the instrument? Hold, uh, it, hold what you got there, Dan. I'm holding. I don't know if we have the pitch. Minute. Coming in. I don't know if we have the pitch and raw as calibrated, pitch and yaw, excuse me, as calibrated outputs on it, so I don't know if we can get that as real feedback. It's really hard for us on the ship to um, to guess at the level of this thing. Yeah. Just, there's there's okay, really no. Go wide there. Yeah. But we're get, definitely getting solid contact on the rock and all the legs. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take a peek to see if that chunk of rock near the tip is uh, holding us up, or if it's on the foot. Just put a little bullseye level on it. <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll build a flat spot into it next time. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Go in. So uh, I think Martin's got a good suggestion. Maybe we'll just tap on it on each of the feet a little bit and settle it in a bit more. It does look like it's sitting on them, but can we help mm -hmm. it out a bit? Yeah, if you do a closed jaw tap right yep. on the end of the bolt. Is there any chance that it's Go sitting on. on the rocks under that left Zoom in a bit. view? Ed? Yeah, come in. And yeah, it would be nice. To yeah, it's pretty solid. You know what I mean? Until we right. see it from an angle. It's like a little real side of frame. gentle tap. Yeah, I think I'd like to take a peek underneath if they... Or we could move it and clear that off well, with them in it. We'll know as soon as we touch yeah. it here. That's solid. Okay, that's it. I'll yeah. tap the other one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's okay, that's good. Yeah, and I don't see much crumbling either. No, it's just that little uh, bit in the middle, but it seems right independent. Maybe right Danny. Yeah. I was going to say that flat on the end right there. Well, that'll tip the whole thing up. Okay. Let's do the U-bolt. Yeah. Zoom in for him there, Ed. Coming in with him. Okay, touch the U-bolt. Yeah, that's a good suggestion, then. That's in. That's in, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's solid. I mean, hopeful. We got a nice still for you here, um, Martin. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is a nice still. Didn't From top that. view, it looks very flat. Yeah, and he does confirm that pitch and roll are not the highest priority either. Uh, do you want a heading on it now? That would be awesome. Uh, you want to take a 90 from the vehicle, or you want it, like, lined up? Like, um, just so do Seems this. like a 90 is more accurate. Looks like 148. Do you guys have the heading back there? So we're 90 degrees from it? And it's at one four one five yeah. zero. And Dirk will throw the remaining bead bags on there if we can without, you know, compromising the what bead bags? Floaty platform. <laughs> oh, there's one on the new I'll platform. I'll be a little worried. Maybe the one on the new platform, but I don't want to move the other ones. It's gonna launch it. Well, yeah, we'll launch it. We shouldn't move the other ones. Okay. Well let's uh maybe what remains in that bag yeah. on the new platform, transfer it over and see. It's got a hole in it. It's <laughs> bleeding out. Right. It but might so only bring like vibration from the PVC flapping in the current. Mm. There is another Martin, heading. unfortunately, the other bead bags, if we move them now. Ulrike, do you have that? Two, three, five? Might be trouble. Got it, thank you. And that's, so that's the opposite of the pointy so end. Opposite of the opposite pointy opposite end. <laughs> yeah, opposite of the connection panel. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. He's saying maybe we can take the leaking bag or the one that's on the new and just put it on the cable just to get the cable out of the current. Right. Because that affects the data. Looks like a neon light down here. Glass beads everywhere. How are you going to pick all those up? <laughs> Giant vacuum. Chopsticks. With the craft. 
There's nothing left in that bag, guys. It's empty. Is it? Yeah. Zoom in, a quick zoom in there. Ed. Yep. Oh, that is, yeah, it's... It's done. It's done, too. Mm. There, the one sitting on top, loud and proud there, is intact, so... If let's we can go and tr we can go and chance it. The seismometer on the back is not actually on the frame right now, so it's less likely to tilt it. So the old one was a lot heavier. Yeah. I have a solution. Uh, let me see. Let me check something here. The old one was, I think you said the other night, 77 pounds in water. Was that with the seismometer? Am I remembering that correctly? So the, the old one with these two uh, floats on it will weigh uh, 165 minus 110. So it about was 55 pounds. understanding there would be no math. Pardon? Gerald Ford? Yeah. I could put the pot on it. <laughs> Fill a pot with a lock. I'll put it right side up so it's heavier. We'll just pick up some locks. Because <laughs> it's full of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's, that's pretty good. I think it's half empty. <laughs> or we could always run back up here with some, you know. That is a good question. Is a pot underwater empty? I don't know. The right thing to do is to come back with some weights. Yeah. We'll try this, I see if I can get in here. The thing is, do you think we can fly with this with the two bee bags on there? Yeah. We're really light. It's like I would take the bean bag off the porch and put it on there, but it's taken me 30, 40 to hold it down. Yeah. With the weight I got, so. I think let's, um, let's just take this back to the tool basket not chance anything and then we can always come back. I reckon one's going to fall off when we pick it up anyway, so... Okay, so you're happy to try and take one off? I think so. Okay, so we can go for that. Meanwhile, can we power back on the port label? Power up the uh, so do they want instrument the again? On the blue yeah, because currently the sensors and the interface are powered down. It says here that the port has been powered again one minute ago. Oh, sorry, I'm not up to date. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think it's fine if they're on. John is making sure that the sensor is not going to be on when we do any bead bag placement. Which is going to be right now, Jeb? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it should not be on. The instrument should not be on. Just let these That's right. blow out the That's video. Right. Sorry. It'll get confused and try to center itself with all the okay. motion. So John just confirmed that the um, power rails are off, so the sensor is off. All good. Actually, this is a reasonable angle. If you look at the grating under the old sensor, you see the cutout where there's a where the grating's no longer regular, right near the tip of the. Uh, what are you? Which are you talking about? Yeah. So. Um, the left-hand side here on the old platform. Yeah. Underneath the sensor, the green grating. Okay. There's a cutout where one of these feet uh, on the steel platform yeah, can how fit it was through. Deployed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's two on the other side too. So if we wanted a better chance of securing that while we move it, we could. I think we've got it because um, Dan's is going to hold it in his jaw. Oh, perfect. So it's not going to fall. Perfect. Where do you want this bean bag? It's going to go... Um, um, don't get carried away yet. Before we do okay. anything, we want to gently, gently lift it up and see what happens. Um, okay. If it, that thing starts to kite, we'll put it back on there. And then probably we're going to hold it and I'll fly around to the other position. I don't know if we can reach out to the cable from here. Maybe uh, we can. It looks like I can. But we're reaching across the instrument, so... Uh, yeah, I can reach to that blur cable, no problem. Even if it's on the cable, just still above the green. Um, on the grate? Yeah, on the grate. Just right. pushing it down onto the grate will be fine. 
Just something to kind of decouple it from the current. So I wouldn't, yeah, I'd grab the, grab it by the throat. Well, I am. I'm just repositioning my, uh, my wrist. It was in a... Sorry for doing this at this moment, but Argus has shifted a bit and we're getting close to North Tower. Can I just bump it sure. ahead? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Argus is heading is 30. Bridge now. Step one five meters, <laughs> bearing zero three zero. It's starting to lift as soon as I... Thank you. No. Nope. Keep, keep coming up, see what happens. Let's come up nice and easy. Okay. Nope. No be big. We can go find it later when it falls off. I can let go of it. All right. I think we're uh, ready to grab this thing and ski down all right. Yeah. There's a good, almost a, almost a perfect heading right there. Okay, I'm frozen. All right. Our heading there is 15 degrees. Oh, I can't see. Can't tell. Well, that's dead center where we are. What is that heading there, Danny? 50. 50 degrees. All right, perfect. 4-4 four, four is fine. It's probably just as close. Happy. Happy. My, look at that thing. So do we grab it from the top of the floats and hang it? It has a bridle, but we also need to hold this this um, PVC piece. Yeah. So it doesn't, otherwise it's going to roll right off. So we forklift this like with the deal on? Uh, considering, we'll see how I can get in here to... I'll pick it up and scoot the porch underneath. Man, that thing is pretty level by the looks of things, the other sensor. Okay, I see the bridle. Stand by. Mm -hmm. around. Trying to watch four other cameras while we're coming in. I don't particularly like the bridle thing because uh, then I can't control the floats or the rotation of it. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can pick it up, you can scoot the porch out. Well, you're going to have the weight thing, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how far if there's a gap underneath behind this well, rail. I'm not I'll sure. Uh, I don't like it, but I'm gonna do it. I think if I grab the bridle the right way, it won't uh, twist.
I'd pick it up and put it in your hand. You are, but I'm gonna get close first. Uh, yep. Look in the still cam, you get a real good picture of it. I don't want to get it out away from the vehicle as much as we can here. Not like crazy out, but. There you go. Okay, so what I want is the bridle on the left that's close to us, on the right side of the manipulator. You know what I mean? This so right here? If you grab the orange tape, kind of do the crane grab. Mm -hmm. Grab that orange tape right there, you can barely see. Want to push? No, I can see it in the um, bubble. Poke it with your jaws with the... Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I want the rope on your left, on the left side of the jaw, that way. And I can move the jaw a little now that you got it. Yeah. Okay, hold that. Okay. See if you can put it in there. Just over the little hooks. Spin your wrist to the right a little, you'll have it. And back towards the vehicle just a little bit. Yep, just repositioning. Okay, I'm gonna go for a grab there. Grab it. Happy with that? Yeah. So if you uh, now grab the instrument the same way you picked up the other one. And uh, we'll take the instrument and put it on the porch and uh, pin it on the porch. Well, I think the leg might be stuck there, the back leg. Of course it is. But you know if we trust it, it'll fall off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Easy, Danny. Yep. Maybe to, yeah, grab to the left a little bit. I can move the magnum out of the way. It's nope, I think I can get it right here. Watch the, the rock. So slide the left. Right. Yeah. Good. Good eye, Ed. And then uh, spin your, yeah, whole mess to the right. Ow. Hold on. Ah. There we go. <laughs> getting pinched by this thing. I mean, you should not get shocked by it. <laughs> <laughs> you pick it up a little and then uh, do a little bit of a clockwise action with the wrist. Yep. And tuck it right into the porch there. You don't have to actually put it on the porch, just tuck it in maybe. That'll do. Okay, hold what you got there. We're all crossed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dan. Yep. So we're meant to take this back to the tool basket. That is correct. We're gonna follow that orange cable that goes that way. I was gonna ask you if you want to follow it or if you just want to jump over all the vents and go to the tool basket. Uh, we followed the orange cable up, so... Okay. Might take me a second to orient and not run into North Tower. 
but if you like if you the go, way and switch. If you go due south, that's how we came up. Yeah, I just moved it a bit because it shifted over time. Oh, you want to go west first, do you? A little bit west and then south. Right. Yeah. So why don't I do that now? I'll just go 10 meters west and which way are we facing? Yeah, I'll do 10 meters west and then south. Bridge nav. Step 10 meters west. Thank you. Hey, Nav. Yes. Um, that um, route we did to PC2 for the recording you wanted. Yes. That got redone to the digital still camera, so I'm no longer recording that, and I'm out of PCs. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I thought we had the digital still on a. It was on one of the. It was on the NA149 salvo, but we've had to reroute it to a PC to get it up here. And I've been using PC2 because that was sonar. sonar, which we're not using. Yeah, we had an alternate use for PC2 I programmed this morning, but we'll figure it out after the dive. Right. That's okay, no, no worries there. Um, Jeb. Yeah. I think we can start troubleshooting that, or looking at that rest of that stringer's act in a few days, kind of. Uh, I don't object to it. It depends on... Because uh, we could probably turn it back on. We're done here for the time being. Yeah, we could turn it on. Do you want me Maybe to John, uh, and get the if you're willing, you can see no, it's fine there. if it detects all three, three of the sensors, there. that would be nice. And then uh, if we are going to drop a bag on it, we'll just turn it off again. Dirt, right? Yeah. 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 yeah okay. I'm, I'm game as long as Shore is up for it. Here we go. Roger. Uh, if possible, could you change Atalanta's heading to south so we can follow it? Yeah, I can move Atalanta's heading south. One eight zero. Yeah, that works. It's right under us now, but we'll once it gets in front, we'll have a better view of not running into stuff. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice and level. I think it's caught underneath the porch. Uh, oh. It's swinging, it's swinging free. <laughs> no, well, it's yeah, a good, no, it's I think, it, I think it's, it's just a good grab. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to move Atalanta south as long as you're all right with that. Get that started. Sure. Bridge nav. Step four zero meters south. Thank you. Open the iris of it for a set. Yeah. I can come up a few meters, Danny. Okay. Oh, there goes the bead bags. They're still there, aren't they? Uh, one of them left. That's okay. why it fell over. I think it tipped towards you a little funny, but... hope it didn't fall on the... Well, we're going to come back up here anyway. See it right? in porch. It looks like oh it's... Yeah. it missed. It missed? <laughs> Bombs away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky. That was lucky. You should never fly over your subsea assets with your old subsea assets. Well, it beats bringing it back. Well, yeah, I can come back here and have fun. Yeah. And this one's just slow release. <laughs> We're just peppering the C4. 
Making a little breadcrumb trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Redistribution of silica. Gonna reset your DVL. Roger. Oh, Jeb, good sleuthing. Yeah. I uh, hear they're all working. Yeah, all three fired up. It, John gave us uh, the good news. Nice. Yeah, I put a lot of hours into that canister, so I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, congrats. Thanks. Congratulations. It's working. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> I won't tell you the other Mickey saying. Oh, here's a. Is this a rock in front of you behind the arm? Oh, God. There's Watch a mountain right in front of us. That should be North Tower. It is. <laughs> Trouble on the left. Trouble yeah. on the right. Yeah. Relax. We're two and a half meters away from it. Yeah. So use your instruments. Yeah. Well, sorry. That looks like we'll be okay with Atlanta and. I'll continue on that once we, once it's moving, it's just slow. Jeb, do you know if this, these sensors tie into the Dell at all? Like would the data go together with whatever comes back yeah, from that? Yeah, well is there like, um, obviously it's not on at the same time, but is this stuff they could tie together? The rumblings of the Dell versus this seismic activity from the Maris?